Hi, this is Arkansas State Representative Stephen Meeks doing a short video as part of Arkansas Leaders Are Readers Week. Reading is a very important part of my job. It allows me to make informed decisions and it helps me to help other people. When I'm not reading as part of my job, I enjoy reading for fun. It helps me to learn about what's going on and it helps me to explore things that I'm interested in. Today, the book I'm going to read for you is Sanjay and the Baker. So let's get started. When Sanjay was a young man, he traveled a great deal. He sailed across the stormy seas. He traveled over hot and open deserts. One day he arrived in the fabled city of Fratissa, a dazzling place where merchants traded in spices, gems, and colorful silks. Sanjay decided to stay a while. He found a room that suited him perfectly. It was small and simple, but quite cozy. Best of all, it was right above the baker's shop. You can see his room there above the baker's shop. In the morning, Sanjay awoke to a delicious smell wafting up from the bakery. Dark, crusty bread, hot from the oven. Warm, sweet rolls filled with juicy croissants. Crunchy biscuits covered in sesame seeds. Sanjay stepped onto his balcony and took a deep breath. He whiffed and sniffed the heavenly aroma. Mmm, fresh cinnamon buns. He just had to have one. In the bakery, Sanjay brought the tiniest cinnamon bun in the shop. I've been on the balcony enjoying your wonderful smells from your oven, he told the baker. Oh, you have, have you? growled the baker. His narrowed eyes and glared at Sanjay. That evening, when Sanji came home, he stood on his balcony to inhale the lovely smells that arose from the bakery. Sanjay stood dreamily, sniffing and whiffing. He didn't see the baker staring up at him. This went on for many days. You can see he made a contraption to help him with the smells, and there's the baker. Suddenly, one evening, the baker banged angrily on Sanjay's door. Thief! he cried. You're stealing my smells. Sanjay was astonished. What are you talking about? He asked, opening the door. Don't think I haven't seen you standing on your balcony, whiffing and sniffing, shouted the baker. You smell my bread every morning. You smell my cakes every evening. I must be paid for those smells. Nonsense, said Sanjay. Those smells come up here by themselves. I haven't stolen anything. The baker shook his fist at Sanjay. So you refuse to pay? Then I'll take you to court. The judge will see that I get my payment. So they went to court. The baker told his story and the judge listened carefully. Then he questioned Sanjay. Do you enjoy these smells? Yes, your honor, Sanjay replied. And have you ever paid for them? No, your honor, I haven't. The judge thought for a long time. At last he said, both of you will return to court tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. Sanjay, you will bring five silver coins. You see poor Sanjay there. Sanjay was miserable. He didn't have five silver coins. He would have to borrow them from his friends, and how would he ever pay them back? You can see him borrowing from his friends. The next morning at nine o'clock, the judge entered the courtroom. Sanjay stood quietly with his head bowed. The baker was there too, grinning and rubbing his greedily hands together. The judge spoke to Sanjay. Have you brought the silver coins? Yes, your honor, he answered in a whisper. The judge took a large copper bowl and placed it before him, then told Sanjay to throw the coins one at a time into the bowl. To the baker, he said, now listen carefully. The first coin clinked into the bowl. The second coin tinkled beside it. The third coin clattered. The fourth coin clanged. The fifth coin rattled onto the pile. You can see him tossing them in and then the baker greedily listening. 
The judge turned to the baker. Did you hear those coins clatter and clink? Yes, your honor, replied the baker, looking hungrily at the bowl of coins. And did you enjoy the sound of their rattle and clang? The judge asked. Oh, yes, I certainly did, cried the baker. Oh, you can see the baker down here. Good, said the judge, because that was your payment. And you, Sanjay, he continued, may have your five silver coins back. Thank you, your honor. The end. Thank you for listening to this story. I hope you enjoyed it, and I would encourage you to find time to read this week.